Welcome back, my darlings, to my new episode. Today we're going to um, talk about belts. One of you actually asked me to do a video about belts and I think it's actually going to be a really great idea. Um, belt is this kind of the type of accessory that we um, use it sometimes because we need to, because we, let's say, have a trousers that are a little bit too loose and we need just to have, you know, to feel that we have this kind of, they don't really slip from our hips. So that's obviously like a useful purpose. But most of the time, I think we really use belts to have this kind of accessory as this kind of like an extra decoration as well to our outfit, just to add something a little bit more interesting. Belt can really add something extra to your outfit. And I think um, it's going to be really, really interesting to talk about this today. Um, for me, belts can be really great when it comes to like adding extra accent on your waist, especially when you have a maybe more like loose dresses. Really great if you want to just um, maybe combine, like have this kind of uh, neat look with your back and your shoes and everything is in the same color. So this is, looks always really, really nice and it's just like very, very chic when you have everything uh, matching. So um, very, very elegant as well. So obviously there are, li there are different ways you can wear belt and that's what we're going to focus today. We're going to talk a little bit about like different width of belts obviously because some of them are very thick, some of them they are more like a classic uh, thickness and some of them they are very like thin. So obviously those di different belts are going to work better on different as well piece of the garment. Nowadays it's belt can really transform your outfit to something different. You can see a lot of uh, fashionistas put the belts um, so many different ways and didn't really want to focus on this today because obviously not all of them they look very very elegant but there is this kind of interesting um, thing, is it, there is interesting way of like tidying up your belt as well and this is like a very stylist a stylish way of doing that. So I wanted just to quickly touch on this as well. So you can have a nice coat, nice blouse, nice dress. It doesn't really matter just now uh, where you're going to like put on which type of the garment. It's just the way how you're going to tie it. And I think this is just now, it's quite a trend as well to do something like this, but uh, it looks actually very, very nice. Um, when you when you add this kind of belt to your garment because it's just this kind of accent on your waist to creating this kind of again our as hourglass illusion and um, helping to look more feminine really nice idea with um, creating this kind of stylish looks as well is when you have a solid color suit and then you adding your belt on top of your jacket and I'm going to talk about putting your belt on top of the coats and jackets later on as well but just now I want to to show you this picture because it is this kind of stylish way of tidying up the belt again, creating this kind of uh, the belt is going a little bit down, but to create this kind of layers on the on the waist, it is just something again more interesting. It is adding something to your outfit that is not boring. So from this kind of plain look of like white suit, that it is elegant, obviously, you just adding something little small belt that create really completely. Um, it shows you that the woman looks much more interesting, you know, and I like that, that the belt can really help you achieve something like this and it's very, very easy way to do that. It's just a small belt, it's not even very thick and obviously emphasizing your waist, slim waist, but in this situation it's just transforming this plain look, simple look, to something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more sophisticated, just by adding your belt. When it comes to those kind of very thick belts, I have a picture here and you can see it is piece, this, this is, this, this kind of belt is giving you this kind of statement um, of more like a um, creative style, you have this kind of creative soul, so you're obviously trying to achieve this kind of effect of more interesting look, something that nobody else maybe had before. So it is this kind of like more like a fashionista, I think. Um, are they very elegant? I think the outfit, um, the look overall looks elegant. Um, the belt obviously just brings this a lot, this attention. You look at the picture and you first thing you can notice the belt. So 
it is obviously the statement here and it doesn't mean that if you're going to do something like this you're not going to be elegant no you're going to be just more elegant but more like flamboyant more creative more this kind of like a um, fashionista style rather than very classic belts can be really great as well when it comes to wearing like a jumpsuit um, and I'm talking more about this kind of elegant obviously jumpsuit not this kind of like a summary or anything like that so if the jumpsuit obviously um, is very plain it has just one solid color adding a belt on your waist this kind of thicker belt is going to add something more again interesting to you it's going to put attention put the this kind of focus on your waist so creating this kind of beautiful silhouette again just adding this kind of extra you know and I like this this idea as well I think it's very very interesting and just creating something different and just adding one really element on your waist and it's just completely different look. I want to talk a little bit more about garments um, because I think um, each garment is going to um, be treated a little bit different as well when it comes to belt. Um, so when it comes to dresses, belt can really help you create more like an exciting look. So it's not going to be just like a simple look, it's going to just by adding just tiny maybe thin belt to your dress, it is going to create um, more like an interesting, more exciting look, especially when you're going to work. So those kind of more elegant dresses, those kind of dresses that um, they are not necessarily sexy or anything like that, they are more like for work environment adding those kind of thin belts again especially if your figure is not like hourglass it is going to help you to look more feminine which is that's what we want um, and I think ideally it's going to be to add the belt in the same color so if the dress is white you're going to add white belt if the dress is black black belt and etc um, you got my idea here so it's just going to look everything is going to look very very neat and that's what you want for your work environment you don't really want to like have crazy colors if when especially when it comes to office that's when I say work, I mean like office environment, those kind of more elegant piece of the garment um, and more like classic, um, but obviously we all have different jobs. So obviously some people might wear something very crazy to work and it's fine. Some people might have much more strict dress code. So, so it's obviously, I just want to clarify that, but um, I just, when I say work, I mean more like a office environment, this kind of more elegant style. Um, and this kind of more elegant dresses, adding this kind of little thin belt in the same color is just going to really, really create this kind of womanly look and you're going to feel as well a little bit more feminine. Just such a small um, accessory and really can help you to achieve this kind of beautiful look. Obviously, you can also um, add contrast belt to your dress um, and that can be, and now we're talking about work, about any really um, part of your life, everyday um, life or whatever whatever outfit you're going to have really. So contrast belts obviously going to um, bring this attention again to you and bringing this attention to your belt, especially if you're wearing white dress and you put a black belt, maybe gray dress, black belt. So because the black belt is such a strong color on a gray, it's going to be more visible than if you would put a black belt on a black dress. <laughs> Obviously that makes sense. But this way you're going to bring this attention to your waist again, you're trying to create thinner waist and it is going to help you again to look more feminine, it's going to help you to look more um, stylish, it's going to help you to look more like, like a female. Uh, men don't put the belt on the waist, obviously. So this Before, is more... very nice when you actually uh, match your belt to your shoes and your back. That should be like your um, standard, ladies. If you, this is always going to upgrade you when you're actually putting this kind of effort to match your uh, accessories to each other in the, in the color, and always looks really really neat and always look really really tidy so i think like this is really the best idea you can you can go for rather than putting black bag gray shoes and a white belt you know if everything is in the same color it just looks really really stunning and really upgrade you as well it's this kind of way of very simple way of upgrading yourself um, in in almost no effort you just need to really obviously buy the same uh, ac color the same color accessories so that's your effort but after you have them you just need to put everything you know in the same color on yourself and that's not much that's not a big effort i think the harder the hardest part is to actually buy those things and 
having them in your wardrobe but you know now you know that it is a really good idea then obviously you can um, focus on that in the future you know I have a black belt and I really like to wear them with my black bag and my black shoes you know it just makes me as well more confident makes me feel like I am putting this kind of effort for myself and I'm trying to do trying to, to be my, like my best self dresses I have a two pictures here that I wanted to show you um, this is basically the same lady with the same dress, but I think it's different occasions. But I wanted to show you, she on one picture she has actually a belt, on another picture she doesn't have a belt. And you can straight away see that with a belt, your attention straight away, your eyes straight away go to her waist. So I just wanted to show you the same really look, the same dress with and without belt because I can you can really see the difference here when it comes to those kind of uh, baggy dresses those kind of dresses that more maybe more are summery more like a thin material maybe doesn't look super expensive but um, they are just like a loose on the bottom basically it doesn't give you anything when it comes to creating beautiful silhouette and I think the adding belt to this kind of dress is going to be a really good idea and it doesn't really matter what kind of size you are because everything that you're going to put on yourself and it's going to be very loose on the bottom it doesn't really have any structure any shape to it you're going to look much bigger than you are so adding actually belt is going to help you even if you are more curvy on more on uh, on more like a curvy side still adding a belt is going to really help you to look more thinner and more slimmer basically i have a picture here our lady she didn't have a belt before um, I don't think I'm not sure if this is the same actually lady on the picture but it just shows you the dress without a belt and the dress with a belt and you can straight away see the difference you know it's just belt really it's such a small accessory but it's so needed in our wardrobe and sometimes we don't really even think how much we really need a belt to look more sophisticated to look more polished to look more elegant so honestly ladies think about that Another great idea that I personally really really love is putting belt on your jackets, on your coats, obviously it depends what kind of weather and what kind of season is there <laughs> because you're not going to wear coat in the summer but um, I'm most of the time talking you know like obviously you know what kind of weather is outside if it's warm it's not if it's a uh, nice weather but you still feel like you really need some kind of maybe jacket um, then obviously putting a belt on top of that jacket again create very womanly look create very like a um, interesting and more exciting look rather than without a belt. Coats and jacket can give you sometimes you know they might look a little bit bigger on you and again if you there are sometimes this type of jackets and this type of coats that they are just don't give you much shape you know so again for that reason you would put a belt on your waist and it is uh, very important as well to choose the right place on your waist because you don't really want to put a belt on your hip when you're wearing a coat and a um, or a jacket because that's just not going to um, you, you're really trying to choose the like thinnest way thinnest part on your um, body basically if you are an apple shaped and obviously this might be a little bit more harder um, I wouldn't put a belt just under your like uh, breast area because that might be a little bit more like thinner with your apple shape just try still put it somewhere on your like mid um, middle part of your body basically because um, you don't really want to have a line just under your breast you know that's, that's not going to look really really well so still it doesn't really matter what kind of shape you are here trying to find this kind of middle part of your body and um, trying to find the, the thinner the uh, slimmer part of your waist basically not under or uh, not under or above you know this is quite important as well because you know even if you have this kind of apple shape putting a belt on your coat is still going to really really help you so honestly don't worry about that with jackets i have a picture here that i wanted to share with you um i think as well putting a belt on your jacket it just gives you this kind of more confident look it's more like a strong personality as well and maybe something that you know your worth you know that you can look good and you know this kind of elements um, going to help you look good you know that's what I really take from this picture as well that lady's confident she knows where to um, put accent on her body to look even more stunning and obviously everything is she's trying to match everything in this kind of similar brownish color the belt is more like a not very thin it's more like a um, I would say 
classic style of bed so it's not too thin not too thick it's just like a classic um wet bun basically and um it looks absolutely great as well because it's beautiful brown color so, color. so it's um obviously contrasting on this kind of um light bluish or like light gray jacket and obviously white trousers you know everything looks really really nice and really feminine even though she put um she put it quite the darker color belt on her waist you want to have more a little bit more like a gentle look i would say go for thinner belt if you want a more like a stronger personality look then go for a thicker belt that i think th that's that's the way you should really think about this so thinner belts are going to create this kind of softness they're going to create this kind of gentleness for you they're going to feel like a lady that um it's very soft very gentle female and this kind of you know <laughs> adjectives basically and i have a picture here of kate middleton and you can see uh, of Duch Duchess of Cambridge, you can see she have a beautiful, beautiful, um, like a chocolatey color of a coat and she has the same color of the belt and it's very thin band basically, put it on her waist again. She is not a hourglass silhouette, you can see here it's more creating this kind of hourglass silhouette, she's more like a straight type of silhouette because she has more like an athletic type of body but over here you can really see this kind of creating this kind of hourglass silhouette and again very gentle very soft because it's a very very thin type of belt so looks really really stunning looks absolutely fantastic here i have another picture here for you that i wanted to as well uh, talk a little bit about this because in this situation you actually have a lady that she has a belt and shoes in similar gray color uh, obviously her skirt is in this kind of color of um, of you know grayish silver and then her jacket and her back are in the same color I think this is very acceptable as well and it looks very very neat uh, because the colors are like complementing each other and the colors are working well they're working very well together but also jacket and back are the same color so there's not too many colors over there there's basically silver some kind of grayish color and ivory let's call it ivory or white and because there's not so much going on it looks very very neat and it looks very very classic looks very very sophisticated here as well and i like that as well i like this kind of combination as well that your back is a different color but it is color of your jacket so something that you actually have on you rather than some kind of random color this way you know everything looks really really polished next thing i wanted to actually talk about skirts so good we actually started this um if you have your blouse that you obviously obviously going to put inside your skirt and then you're going to have a blouse you're scared sometimes your blouse might be loose a little bit more loose it's not going to be very loose but a little bit more loose then adding a belt on top of your you know like finish like beginning of your skirt let's call it uh, of the moment when the skirt actually starts so covering this kind of like a gap from blouse to your skirt so you're putting belt to cover that um it is it is really good idea and bringing attention to your waist so it's going to complement you very very well but also um it's just making all this kind of all your pieces of your garment looking very well together and looking like they are meant to be for each other you know what i mean like on this picture here lady she's wearing dark blouse this kind of more like a um, goldish darker brown maybe I'm not even sure what kind of color is that of the skirt but the black belt just between on those two pieces of the garments makes look everything really really good together you know it looks like they are meant to be for each other the blouse and the skirt so um, belt can really help you do that you know but again you have a blouse that it's inside your skirt so you're trying to cover this belt of the skirt that not most of the time they are just some kind of like a band you know like an elastic band that obviously it's very comfortable when you're wearing that but you don't really want this to be visible so much so in this situation i think belt is like necessary it's honestly necessary when you're going for some kind of skirt you're going for some kind of blouse adding a belt is going to really really upgrade your look as well every time you're really going to wear something like let's say this time trousers and a blouse and you're going to put your blouse inside your trousers I think every single time you should consider to put a belt on as well because in this situation it's just 
adding again something more interesting to your look something that looks a little bit more um like you consider what you put on yourself you know it's not that you just chose random things in your wardrobe adding belt always have this kind of power i would say it's a power of um creating something uh, more little bit more stunning rather than without having a belt um even if you're talking about the jeans and t-shirt you know even if you're going to have a white jeans and maybe some kind of um, nice type of t-shirt and both of them maybe they can be white and then you're putting some kind of um brown belt just something a little bit more interesting and straight away give you this kind of contrast over there straight away brings eye to your belt to your to your hips in this situation but it is um just a little bit more interesting not so boring some uh, people might be um, some people might be scared some ladies might be scared that uh, elegant fashion might be too boring for them then if you if you worry about this if you're very very young as well and you're trying to create something different but still keeping it classy and elegant then belt is going to help you do that as well okay ladies i hope you enjoyed this uh, video about belts i find belts to be really really good accessories they don't need to be very expensive obviously there was, um, I think, two years ago this kind of trend, or three years ago started, I think maybe more, because, you know, it's COVID, oh, it's already, like, going, we are in this kind of zone that you don't even know what year is it. Um, well, honestly, like, a few years back, <laughs> there was this kind of popular trend with having this kind of Gucci, Gucci belt. Now, I think, if you would really want to look sophisticated, like, super sophisticated, you would go for Hermes belt. Um, that's, like, that's like the best, you know, that's what it is with everything, with back, with shoes, with, you know, it's almost Hermes. But I think uh, any really nice thin belt for dresses in the same color as your dresses is going to be a good idea. I think focusing on those kind of classic, like black, brown and beige is going to be basic. Then you can also go for white, but I think like black and brown, that's like honestly the best options you can go for the beginning when you're trying to invest in belts. You can obviously have a red back, red belt and red shoes and you're still going to be absolutely stunning, but you're not going to have so much use of red belt done like with a black belt basically. So it's like a red belt, white belt, black belt, we're <laughs> like talking karate here. Um, but think about this ladies because I feel like a belt is really such a great accessory and doesn't need to be very expensive it just need to be a nice finish obviously you don't want to buy something that's going to snap you want to buy something that it's going to last you a little bit longer but it doesn't need to cost you fortune you know you don't need to go to Louis Vuitton shop and buy a belt because you just want to have this kind of LV or something like this Obviously adding those kind of, if you can afford it, and adding those kind of like uh, logos of the companies that are a little bit more expensive and only having a belt, let's say you have everything else from some kind of fast fashion shop but you said to yourself I'm going to buy a little bit more expensive belt and the belt is in the color, let's say, contrasting to your outfit, then obviously all your garment is going to look more expensive because of your belt because people are going to notice oh okay she's wearing a Hermes belt so probably her dress is going to be worth it as well more but the reality is you might have a dress from H&M you know but adding those kind of belts that are a little bit more expensive actually is going to upgrade your look like and look more rich, more expensive, because obviously it's going to be some kind of famous company. It doesn't need to be Louis Vuitton, can be doesn't need to be Hermes even, can be Gucci, you know, Gucci is a little bit more cheaper, can be Versace, is a little bit cheaper as well. So there are obviously different brands, but um, yeah, if you if you feel like you want to invest your money in some kind of designer pieces, then I think belt, and you don't have a lot of money, then I think belt is actually going to be a good idea because you're going to have belts, you know, normally belts last longer, you know, we don't really wear them every day as well, but they last long, a little bit longer, so if you're going to buy a nice belt even from some kind of um, polo or somewhere like uh, Ralph Lauren, then obviously and then obviously it's going to upgrade your outfit as well ladies so think about that you know if you if you have money and you want to invest something that's going to look more expensive and help have this kind of more uh, posh look then i would say um, invest in belt that's going to help you okay i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and uh, if you have any other ideas, please share them with uh, in the comment because I honestly always like to do videos for you and it just makes me happy as well. So please do, please share. <laughs>
See you in the next one.